You're live. Okay, guys. Um, hello. Happy Tuesday. I have a really fun project. I'm excited to show you guys for the first time. We just got it on the website. Um, and we literally just made like the final decisions about it. So it's a porch leaner. If you guys have seen this, it leans on your porch and it'll spell out welcome. I'll show you that. We're going to have three different fonts. The one I'm showing you right now is Rockwell, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, Bill. That is Rockwell for sure. Okay, so you'll get the W E L C M E. And then you'll get eight attachments. And. I only have three of them today because I literally just made the decision on the other five. It's a totally different um, than our other seasonal. So for January, you'll have uh, the snowflake. Has anybody seen the heart? Yeah. Oh, here it is. Okay, so January, you'll have the snowflake. February, the heart. We've got um, the bunny for Easter. Y'all are so far over there today. I'm trying not to forget about Instagram. And then after that, you'll have a flower that's kind of like, that can really go spring, summer. That can be used as like a placeholder for the different like times when it's not really a holiday. And then there's a sun with sunglasses. Um, what's after that? Ghost. You say ghost? You did a ghost, yeah. yeah but isn't that, that's one, two, three. Santa. Santa. Four, five. Yeah. Okay, ghost. I have a list. There's a little ghost, and then there's the um, curly stem pumpkin for Thanksgiving, fall, and then there's Santa's head. Um, so I'll paint these three today, and then I'll paint the letters. And I'm just kind of pretty much be doing crazy stuff on here because this one um, will probably send out, what, two unfinished kits? Yeah, I think we're going to send out some uh, some of the 34-inch versions. Yes, this also comes in two sizes, 34-inch and 44-inch. So our giveaway today will be the 34-inch size. Um, that is $29 retail for the whole kit and then $49 for the 44-inch one. And I want you to like, share, and tell me your favorite holiday. Um, and then... I am going to um, also talk about our <coughs> contest we're doing. So we've already been getting submissions. So very exciting. Thank you for that. Um, what we're asking you guys to do is um, email us at, at admin at build-a-cross.com. If you have any ideas for a shape, a kit, whatever, you have two weeks through July 5th. Uh, to submit your ideas so we're going to pick our favorite one and we will cut that for you probably at 18 22 20 inches around that size um and then we'll also give you a 40 dollars store credit so please participate that and i'm very excited um i gotta grab something what's your favorite holiday did you say i didn't say because i think i don't know like because I, I do like, really like Christmas and the Christmas season, but also it's like met with so much sadness right after. <laughs> like, I hate that time of year, right after Christmas. And um, so I kind of don't know. Definitely not Easter. That's, I mean, I'm glad that the Lord was risen, but I don't mean it in that way. But like, that's not my favorite time of year. Uh, maybe like 4th of July or something because I love that time of year. All See, right. I was halfway thinking Easter might. It's not my favorite, but I do. I, I like that time of year because when the Masters is. I like Yeah, I really don't know, actually. I mean, I, I'm asking y'all to answer a question that I'm not even sure of. So I'm using a saying that I've never used, and I have been sneezing since I woke up yesterday morning. Spare the light. Spare the light? Yeah. I don't want to not sneeze. That's nothing worse. You no, know, if when... you stare at the light, it makes you sneeze. Like if you're fixing to sneeze and you can't sneeze, you stare at the light. I didn't know that. No, you've heard that, huh? I, mean, uh, I guess I've heard it. I knew it, though. Light seems to trigger sneezes sometimes, so. 
Sunlight. Especially. Sunlight, especially. So um, I'm using Black Magic, the water based gel stain, and this is available. Um, I had never used this color, so I figured I would use it today. Then I'm going to paint my letters all kinds of different colors because it's a great opportunity to show you guys the different colors that you still have. And since this isn't necessarily going to anybody, and um, also I think anytime I use a lot of color in these videos, the video does better. So it's like you see the color and you want to watch the video. So I'm doing a bunch of colors, and it'll also be the listing photo. It probably look like a circus. L O L. Yeah, inadvertent. Very unintentional. Y'all saw a little, a little glimmer. Instagram did. A little glimmer of the man. All right, so this is black magic, guys. So pretty much a black, true black stain, but it's not. It's not so. Um, it's not so opaque that you can't see through it. Okay. I'm going to show them a picture of the uh, unfinished kit right quick so they know what we're looking at together. All right, because there's no way I can really like lay it out. Yeah. <laughs> and y'all see it? All right, so I'm going to start painting my letters, and I have all my favorite Dixie Bell colors here. Um, so I'm just going to start painting. See, Miss Caroline, 0904, she kind of, like, I don't know that I necessarily have a, a favorite holiday, but I think a lot of people feel this way. Um, I like Christmas, obviously, just because my kids ha have a good time on Christmas. But I think that whole time of year, like the the, the feeling you get around the Christmas time, um, it is very Ms. nostalgic. Carol says you can decorate more, you know, with Christmas stuff, Thanksgiving, your family. Um, it's just that time of year. I think. Just to, I agree. Uh, I would I would say that Christmas is my favorite time. It's my favorite holiday. I, I love because I get to duck hunt also that time of year. You know, it's just that time of year is so it speaks to a lot of people. I think not necessarily because of Christmas, but just Cold and just everything. Christmas also gets a lot less magical the older you get. And I'm probably at that age where it's like you just got married, and so you know it stops being as fun because you're married now. And you know, like when you're still not married, you're like included in a lot of the yeah. like, uh, yeah, yeah. So, and I know you've heard this, but when you have kids, it'll take on a whole other deal. Um, we did it right, spacing out our kids, I, I think, because Holden is 10 years older than Gussie, so he would, he's about done with Christmas, you know what I mean. Um, but, done with Christmas. Uh, you know what I mean. Like the, he's happy to give and everything, but the holler and excitement in the morning is kind of gone. But she's fixing to get into it full blown, so it's we didn't really miss that. You know what I mean? Like it's not. Yeah. Gracie, do you believe in Santa Claus? <laughs> <laughs> And this, this is a great point, too. Um, people in general are kinder to each other in the Christmas season. People are nicer that time of year. That's, I think that's true. I think that's a good, good take. Yeah, um, I guess everybody's feeling what you can't be. I mean, I don't know. You still have some branches, but you can't be mean at Christmas, you know? That's a great whole conversation that this makes me think about. Be like, what's the best gift you got? Um, and what's your favorite Christmas movie? But y'all, it's June, so I'm not going to. Um, Miss Haley, eleven, I think, kind of got more of your vibe. She said, "Not necessarily a holiday. I just love the summertime. I love the sunshine and relaxation and time outside." I think that's kind of. Yeah, I agree with that. It's not a holiday. Yeah, just like you said, it's not a holiday, but I do love the summer. Um, I just love. I don't know. There's something like. The sunshine and being in the swimming pool what? gives you like. You should be able to swap one of those over so you can get answers. Maybe. Serotonin. And I do like Christmas itself and the time leading up to it. But guys, my birthday, and I think this is part of the reason I feel like this. My birthday is December 29th. And I just don't like that because. You know, Christmas is over, everybody's broke, everybody's tired, and it's my birthday. So, maybe that's part of the reason I don't like that time of year. All right, this is Plum Crazy that I'm painting my E with. 
And I'm just, guys, I'm doing a bunch of random colors. Now, you might want to do something more generic, like black and white um, or something like that, because um, this will be on your porch year-round, and you'll be able to put Santa and everything on it. Um, but I wanted to show you the option of doing something fun and colorful, just because it's only fun painting it black and white on camera. So I got my W E and next I'm going to go in with the L and I'm painting it in Flamingo. And I've just been going around and painting my um, edges and then painting the top. And again, for today's giveaway, we're going to like, share, let me know what your favorite holiday is. Um, also, I don't want to fail to mention all of our prices are going down. Um, Y'all know we had a little price raise um, because of lumber prices, but we've able we've been able to go back down on those. Also, you can use my code scroll at thirty. Um, I've been promised it through the end of summer, so use it while you can. Then W E L C. Um, and not forget about a contest. So if you have any new ideas. For a shape or a kit or whatever we can put, email us at admin at bill-cross.com. You'll have two weeks from um, yesterday, so that's July 5th. Miss Ann Johnson, she's fifth. Y'all, she's mm -hmm. fifth. She it's has a she's castle. She's she has a castle. She has clean litter. She is just... She even um, has companionship. The worst... What would we call her? I, I was going to say human being, but she's not a human. She's <laughs> awful. Um, and I complain about her every day. Did you put these on the wholesale site yet? No, I haven't. Oh, okay. We're going to do it today? Yes, I'll do it immediately after the video. Um, I, I struggled a little with the option set, and that put me back. <laughs> Guys, I'm still learning uh, as far as the website goes. I've been trying to you know, help out a little and, you know, when I get the chance, post a, a product. And I really wanted to put it on the website um, today so I could go ahead and do the video on it because I was excited about it. But um, I failed to put it on um, the wholesale before we went live. So I'll do that immediately after the video. So like 10 minutes after the video, you should be able to order it. All right, so after the C would be the shape. So I'm going to skip it. Go ahead and finish my letters. So the next one would be M. And I'm going to do Limeade. I was waiting for that. You know me. <laughs> it's my fave. She's very high maintenance. I mean, I wish she could tell us what her deal is. Maybe she's talking to us. Maybe I'm sitting here talking and she's sitting here joining in on the conversation. You know, I just don't know. I think I liked it back on when she just hit it so much. Well, see, when she first came here, I literally texted her and was like, I love this cat. I've never liked the cat before. Because she actually will come up to you. She's not scared of people. And she'll, like, hang out with you and stuff. And most cats, they're like, leave me alone. Don't look at me. Um, but now she just screams at us all day, every day. She's really unhappy with us. For some reason. I think you should take her home. <laughs> I think your mama would love it. Shh. Bill. Uh, yeah, Corey's allergic to cats. I just think if she tries to do that, it's going to end up in my house. Yeah, and Billy and is no, um, no. allergic to cats as well. We've got some over there, but they're outside. Cats, for sure. No one can just join you. Ruby does still have calls, so she can be an outside cat. <laughs> she likes to scale the walls. The wall behind me is uh, like covered in carpet um, for like soundproof reasons, I guess. Guys, this used to be, I remember the day we took it down. This used to be a bunch of cubicles. <laughs> and I told dad one day, because we worked at the building, um, there's like a field and then a building. I told Dad when I was like, I can't work out there anymore. It's depressing. I'm all alone. 
um i need to be around people i mean my sister was there but like we needed to be around people um and i was like come on you gotta move us out and um so i came over here and ripped down the cubicles i think dad has a picture of me because i had like a bun on the top of my head like the top of my head and i was ripping cubicles out because i wanted to be over here and praise god i'm over here it's so much better i don't ever want to be locked in the dungeon by myself again i need to be around my people all right this is dixie Bell blue is that hilarious it is are you so glad i came over here bill yeah because it it saves a lot of uh back and forth also we y'all used to do finished stuff for the internet and we used to have to go bring the stuff over there the bring it back so that's not at all what i was talking back. about back um forth, i'm sorry your cabs were burning at least my company uh well, you know you have my company now that i'm over here yeah yeah that's a good reason mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah that's the real reason i was glad so this is um she's scaling the walls guys uh this Mr. donna which coach you talking about billy he said why would we never see co-host man he's talking about ruby, ruby? Um, i'm not picking her up because she calls she, um, she might call me and I thought we were going to have to, to send her to the Lord Friday because <laughs> she scratched Triton. Oh, and, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, you didn't drew blood. Billy, did you answer Ms. Yvette's question? Did the letters vary in size? Okay, I'm the sorry. letters yes, are going to be approximate. But for the 44 inch size, I have it right down. They'll be <laughs> four, um, inches. four inches. And then the shapes will be six inches. And again, the 44 inch is not approximate, but the letters and shapes are kind of sized to fit this sign. Um, but they'll be about four inches for the letter, six inches for the shape. Now on the 34 inch sign, and I'm gonna have this information on the listing. I'll put I'll put this after the video. Um, the 34 inch sign, the letters will be three inch approximately, and the um shapes will be four and a half inches approximately you get eight shapes um you're gonna have snowflake heart bunny a flower sunshine with the little glasses he's super cute um a ghost a holy ghost of course and <laughs> my very favorite pumpkin shape it's the curly stem pumpkin and then santa all right so this is dixie bell blue i don't know if i mentioned that i meant to grab the golf, but I'm totally okay Wait. that I grab this. So <laughs> the camera's at an awkward angle. <laughs> oh, so it's getting people walking by. All right, so I got my letters done, and I'm gonna paint all three of these for y'all because I know y'all enjoy my company. All right, so for this heart, I'm gonna paint it in. Um, honky tonk red, guys. I'm not drawn to red. Um, I'm helping one of my neighbors. She's pretty much gutting her entire house, and I'm helping her make decisions. She loves red, and I'm like, um, do not like red. But I can like it in somebody else's face. I'm just not drawn to it. So I try to push myself out of my comfort zone and use it because y'all might like red. And I mean, I should like red because my name is Scarlet. And this color is a very scarlet color because I think scarlet's like a red orange. It's just, you don't speak to me. My favorite color is blue. Y'all know that. Billy, you said your favorite color is charcoal? Uh, I don't know. Crazy I just don't really have a favorite color, I guess. You don't really know? Uh, Miss Pam said it sounds much better today. I guess your uh, thing's doing good. Y'all. 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 Tragic. Um, we did get a new webcam, so hopefully it just is rocking and amazingness. We're trying it for the first time today, so we're happy to hear. But again, we could do it tomorrow, and it sounds terrible. We really never know. All right, I gotta grab. Do I want a tan bunny or a gray bunny? A gray bunny. Okay. Um, I'm gonna grab. I can grab a manatee gray because my savannah mess isn't open. 
But I'm going to open it. This is my very favorite go-to gray. So I'm probably going to have to pick up the camera at the end of the video so y'all can see this sign in its entirety because I'm not going to be able to stand it up. Even though I meant, I have a hot glue gun at home. Do we have one here? Could I don't you know where one is if we do. Because apparently we sell them. Hey, I don't know. I think we're, I don't know where they are. Where's DJ? Would he know? Yeah. Yeah, he would know, but he left. Because right if now. there was one, I was going to um, put the sign together for him. Really? You don't know where they are? find out real quick? Yeah, go check real quick. some sticky tag? Do we have to get that? Yeah. Come on. Right I got this. I got two static tape, too. I mean, we can try to make it work. Well, I did have a whole box of this stuff in there, but it's gone. Just KC Mercs, did they like this? No. The right color, the same color. Excuse me. Great. That is um, Dixie Bell. Y'all, so every time I say these things, I cringe. It's Dixie Belle Voodoo Stain in the color Black Magic. Don't judge. Dixie Belle's a Southern Stain, and they must draw some inspiration from New Orleans. Y'all ain't gonna lie. If I went to New Orleans, I would totally probably take, like, the graveyard tours. Oh, um. Yes. I think that'd be super cool. You say you've never been to New Orleans, right? No, I've never, well, I've been to New Orleans and I went to the aquarium. Um, but that was like a really long time ago and that's all we did. BJ's going to grab some Velcro so we can just do a demo, but we do have Velcro on our site too. So. Okay, so I face coated him in Savannah Mist. Well, I mean, I'm going to bring a hot glue gun so I can start finishing Actually, stuff. We have the graveyard hot glue guns, but you don't have glue. Yeah, I think I'd love it. What does the graveyard tour consist of? I've never I mean, just all the cool graveyards. And now they do have like, um, what's like the Mary Delavine De or whatever. But she has a house there. I ain't trying to go in that. Um, and be getting harassed by the spirits. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, maybe that. The wait right here. You want to give the bunny a face? Yes. The bunny is one second, guys. The bunny is paint by line. So I'm just letting his body dry. Um Miss Yvette, right now she wants to know if these kids come with uh just the word welcome, or we have other sayings like howdy. Right now right now, just welcome, but we want to make these these um what should we call these let's just call it like a rectangle face uh, we want to make a hello this a home, available left. separately and then you can go choose your letters and it can say literally whatever you wanted to go away go away bye please leave <laughs> i mean come on in the options are endless so we're going to do that. Um, we're going to make it all available separately and available together. I think this is an idea that would be fun if you want to have a girl's night and have a little paint party. The fun thing about these things and a lot of the stuff we offer, you don't have to have a teacher. You can um, watch my videos. And it's also paint by line. A lot of stuff is paint by line, so you just base coat, outline, highlight. So if you want to have a girls' night and paint something like this, it'd be super fun. Okay, so this is Blueberry. She said the latest name you were talking about. Marie Laveau. Oh, yeah. I've never heard of that. What is it? You don't know that? Uh -huh. I mean, I'm pretty sure she's she like the... She's like the Judy Queen of uh, yeah. New Orleans. Yeah, so I, I, I'm not trying to go like tour her house or anything um, and watch, you know, I've the life. some wonders. places that were like. What's the house on the way? The Myrtles, the Myrtle Plantation. I've that's been there. Not, that's not out there, though. That's... No, that's in like St. Francis Field. Yeah. yeah no, but there. it has got like the spirit. Marie Catherine Laveau was a Louisiana Creole practitioner of voodoo. 
herbologist and midwife who was renowned in New Orleans. Her daughter, Marie Laveau II, also practiced root work and conjure uh, Native American and African spiritualism as well as Louisiana. There you go. Well, that's fine. I can get to it in a minute. Um, so one in the Myrtle Plantation, I want to say like one of the um, slaves was listening in on a conversation and they cut her ear off and they say when you go in there like people will be missing earrings. I've heard that a lot. And you can take pictures in one of the mirror and then when you get it developed, they'll be like, um, oh, in the Myrtle's yeah, like stuff in, stuff in the mirror, like faces. And you can stay the night there. Yeah. I'm not no. sure about that, though. I don't, I don't sleep outside. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be staying the night there. I probably would do it, but I'm probably not going to do it. Little known fact about me, which if you've watched these videos, you probably do know. I love scary movies, so I probably would do it. Favorite scary movie? I mean... I feel like when I say this, it makes me seem um, like it's sc the Scream series are not really scary, but they're probably my favorite. Thriller movies more than Yeah, scary. they're probably some of my favorite. They're just classic, you know. But um, I've definitely tried. I don't really like to watch stuff that's got like that's like demonic because you know I believe in that stuff. So um, it's a little too real for me. I ain't trying to uh, have any spirits. Up in my favorite, house. Scary movie. favorite scary movie. Do you even like Thirteen scary? Ghosts. I don't think I've even seen that. I don't watch a whole bunch of scary movies. Um, and then the scariest movie really I've like ever seen movies. was Insidious. And wow, that was so scary, y'all. I watched like all the Saw movies and stuff. Oh, uh, nice to see. I won't watch that. I won't watch Saw. Um, that's disgusting. It's gory. I don't like those kind yeah, of movies. Much. Um, I'm a comedy person. Comedy. Have you ever watched Brooklyn Nine Nine? No, you told me about it. I never checked it out yet. I think you'd love it. I'm sure I will. I'm in the middle of um, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Did you watch The Office? Yeah. Well, I no, I didn't watch like the whole series. Jared's the one that got me interested in it, and I uh, I do like it. I've never watched all of them yet. Thirteen Ghosts was really good. So was Insidious, The Conjuring. My sister went to. Alright guys, again, this is Blueberry. I guess I'm a Halloween guy, like the original Halloween. Yeah, but that's not really that scary either. I don't like scary movies. Like Most I don't of the scary movies, movies, it's like you laugh. Like, that's maybe you get really scary. There's something about that. Probably shouldn't like, but I do. Um, Hostile. And it's funny because I'm not mm, scared yeah, to stay at home that. alone. Um, I've told y'all before I'll sleep with, you know, pistols on my bed, but I, it just doesn't freak me out. And I'll be like watching from my mom and I'm like, oh, and people are like, Scarlet, what is wrong with you? And I'm like, I don't know. I just don't upset me. Silent Hill. I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know what any of these are. None of my, Sarah doesn't like, um, I don't there's watch. a show called like the babysitter or, or whatever, or maybe, um, and, or when a stranger calls one of those, I can't remember what it was. I think maybe when a stranger calls is about a babysitter. I watched, uh, is it strange? Is it, what's it? I'm drawing a blank, I guess. Stranger Things? No, not Stranger Things, but there was a, is it called The Strangers? It's a horror movie. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I... Um, but that movie had these windows in the house where like you could see into it. Yeah, the strangers look. And everybody was always like, that reminds me of your house. My house growing up. And I was like, well, that's kind of terrifying. Mr. Donald was enough you sang the sound of the board. What? Mr. Donald was enough you sang the sound of the board. I didn't on the video, but I'll do it for y'all. And I would absolutely do it in real life. You know, real life, like, yeah. it's going like somewhere. It's fake life. This is not going anywhere when it's done, other than canton or clearance. In that box. So you can get this. Yeah, exactly. In that box over there. All right. All right I painted yeah. his ears and nose soft pink. Painted his little mouth area. I just want to call it a snout. <laughs> and cotton. 
Okay, so my snowflake here, I'm going to take it and add some cotton. One of our viewers is in the hospital, C.M. C. McAdoy. That's, uh, yeah, Charlotte. I've seen the name in a bit. She, she, she watches, watches on, on Facebook. On a daily she basis. Yeah. She's in the hospital having surgery Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, she has to pray for her. Oh, no, we will be praying for you. Um, Brother Kobe, come say a prayer for her on this thing. Come on. Come on. You're good at that. You threw, Kobe. You threw Kobe out there. Why don't you pray for her? Well, I mean, okay. that's two. That's two. I can, but apparently the Spirit told Kobe to pray for her since he wanted to make a joke. He said, pray for her, see? So pray for her. It wasn't a joke. No. The really pray for her is not a joke. It's the kingdom, man. Pray for her. Father, we just thank you right now. What's her name? Charlotte. Charlotte, we just... uh. Usher in the will of heaven right now over that hospital room. She's having surgery, you said? Yep. Wednesday and Friday. Wednesday, right now, that them hands be ordained by heaven, that God is in control of rebuke anything that, that comes against you, against that, that truth. We uh, fear, doubt, uh, worry right now be gone, uprooted in Jesus' name. And we just plead the blood of Jesus over her right now. We ask that uh, your will would be done in her life. That you be resurrected and seated with you right now. We love you and we thank you for the cross. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Brother you Colby. You pray for somebody you pray for. Don't say see, pray for. You pray for. Sure. <laughs> We're gonna have to get you something. What? I don't know. All right, I'm using uh the end of my paintbrush and cotton to do little polka dots all over my snowflake. That's what it's called. I'm just cutting these velcro things like really small, so I hope you can. That's use fine. Them. Um, I can always use multiple. All right, so I'm gonna dry my bunny. Several people are saying that. If y'all guys are awesome, we have like 50 comments, ABM. That's kind of what we, uh, that's kind of how we do things. We're talking about more of these, uh, fans of people. You know what I mean? Like this. <laughs> we just get a real variety that's here. Right. Yeah. Um, that's pretty cool. It is cool. Definitely. If you come to work and you're like, man, my head hurts, somebody's be like, hey, <laughs> come, come on over here. here. Let me pray for you. Some spiritual talent all. Um, <laughs> which definitely is often I didn't even know really that that was unusual until I grew up because I would have people be like wow that's awesome I'm like like at my wedding rehearsal um I had I was getting a migraine because I was stressed out and my dad just like stopped what he was doing and prayed for me and people were like me and like that's so awesome that y'all are like that and like that's just what I'm used to, what I was raised around, I'm very blessed for that. I mean, it don't matter where we were, where we are. Um, my dad will stop and pray for me. Just outlining my bunny. And now I'm going to highlight him. You see what Mandy said? Uh -uh. She said, ask Scarlett if she can send my stuff with the Kill Corn guys today. Oh, well, <laughs> no, I don't have it at work. Um, and I didn't know they were leaving today. That's my bad. Um, and they might would even tell me no. You think they do it for me? Who? Would the guys take our stuff? I got a feeling they would do it. <laughs> they do go, it? You go straight. Whoever's going to say, then they think going to be no Yeah, it'll be. I'm sorry. It's at home. I meant, I've been meaning to ask them when um, they were going to go. I think I'm just going to leave my heart as is. So start handing me a GoPro, please. Okay, this is the hook side right here. It's a bunch of them. The what? That's the hook side. I don't know what it is. Dan Jones says, I don't do scary. It's the fuzzy it side. It doesn't me to go into a graveyard. And hook think, and loop. Like, I've never done a graveyard tour, but in New Orleans, like you're talking about, there's a lot of like really cool so, old history. Yeah, it would not be, great, it would not really be about like scary. It's just there's a lot of beautiful, like, like history. History there, yeah. So, 
All right, I'm using the Velcro, and guys, this is what you would use for the um, seasonal attachment anyways. So, you take the back ball. Oh no, I got stuck to it. All right. Hopefully, if it's a little off, just ignore it because I'm sitting here, I'm sitting down doing this. So, you know, there's really no way to know if it's going to be perfect. What do you mean, like the spacing and stuff? Or yeah. I guess we could have etched something on there so you know where to put the. <laughs> Let me go fish my eyes out of the back of my head. <laughs> w E L. We got to spell it out, guys. Hey, brother Josh. Hey. Or I'll end up, it'll end up saying something wild. Oh, yeah. Hey, man, y'all got in the show today because these people that don't want to get on camera, they keep walking past. I guess we made the right set because I asked if they would like to see overall different uh, porch leaners. Most of them said they would use the welcome over one like oh, home or love. Yeah, and I bet y'all are thinking, man, these attachments are better than anything else kit-wise that I've seen. And that's because I picked them out. Also, I've been very sarcastic here lately on these videos, and I've been thinking, man, either I'm really getting on people's nerves, or they see my sarcasm. And I hope y'all see my sarcasm, um, and don't think that I think I'm full of myself, because I don't think I'm that great. I hope y'all I hope y'all know that, because I was like, man, some of these people are probably like, wow, she thinks she's wonderful. <laughs> Because I forget some of you could be new viewers and not like have known me. I know my sarcasm. I cannot get this off. Even though I try not to be sarcastic because it's not a quality I love. I mean, when you're just joking around, I don't like when people say they're sarcastic, but they're actually being rude. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm definitely getting my spacing off, but it's okay. That's okay. They're gonna they're gonna, they're gonna pull out the tape measure at home. Yeah, y'all are a lot more precise than I am. W E L C. All right, what do we want? The bunny? The bunny's going on. Yeah, it's very summer like. And we still have this Velcro, right? Yeah, we do. Y'all, this Velcro yeah, is a, intense. I don't know if I put a lens, but yeah, I can. It's like not coming off. I'm very impressed. This is like industrial A lot of people just strength. use it for the uh, the interchangeable part. You know, yeah, you, you can attach else, the W E L C M E, but then I would use this for the attachment. And the way that I do it is, I just go ahead and put my little two pieces together. So you're gonna have like a scratchy side and then a soft side, and I just go ahead and put them together. And then I'll peel off one side. Instagram, I'm gonna pick you up. Oh, Stick okay. it on my letter. Peel off the other side. Mm, I think I need another. Well, we'll see. And then I'll press it down. My last letter. A. All right, and then Sweet. you'll be able to see, boom, boom. <laughs> put your, I would put the um, same that's on this and swap it out. All right, so. Can I see it? Can I see it there? Yeah, we're changing it. Dynamic photography. And then I got my heart. It would go there. I got my snowflake. And then I have a flower. Plus, anything else you want to order at a six ghost, inches. 
a pumpkin and Santa, and then you could order literally anything else. If you are like, oh, I want a pool floaty, order it at um, the recommended size, which I'll put in the description. Yeah. And um, like if you got a pool, you can put a pool floaty. I'll go over my color. So my stain is the Voodoo Gel Stain. It's water-based, um, available online in Black Magic. Peony. I like to put this E here. Let's do it because I was doing like a gradient. A what? A gradient. And then I should have put another piece of Velcro there, but whatever. Oh, I used the wrong side. Wait. <laughs> What'd you do? We have a. Uh, I didn't use the same side on everything. Oh. I'm not sticking. No, it's not sticking. All right. Okay. Um. Peony, plum crazy, flamingo, lucky lavender. I got soft pink, savannah mist, lime. Pixie Bill Blue. Honky Tonk Red. Blueberry. Alright, let's pick some winners. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't have it with me. She's been hungry. Instagram, Miss Amanda K. Love. Amanda K. Love, you're going to get this. Is that what you said? I'm guessing it's all spelled together, but I think it's Miss Amanda Unfinished. The whole set? Yep. 34 inches. So please email us admin at bill a cross.com. And what about the kettle corn thing? Okay. Promotion going on. Did he say anything about that? Cole, you got any kind of kettle corn promotion going on? We got a kettle corn promotion going on? Oh, uh, yes, we sure do. We'll Tell me about, about it. it. Oh, yeah, we caught them just right, right before we say the Facebook winner. <laughs> now y'all are waiting. Oh, marketing boy. Hey, what? True. <laughs> Miss Amanda K. Love, the email address is admin at build a cross.com. You want to get some quick kettle corn away? I think we're going to see what we got some. Yeah, we got a. Uh, really, what's that we got today? The, it's uh, we got a new flavor. That's buy what three, get one. What's the new flavor? Yeah, buy. Well, you got to buy three, right. spend at least a minimum of thirty-five dollars. Uh, we're gonna give you a free bag of your choice out of the three new flavors, which is uh, the Cajun uh, jalapeno cheddar. So you know what? New flavor, the new new like the is the uh, new we new. call it that cheddar mail. The cheddar mail. You know that cheddar mail. Called? It's called cheesy cheddar caramel. Mail. So it's straight our original. <laughs> Fan favorite uh, caramel flavor, uh, also coated with our cheddar cheese uh, dust. Yes, so what but call. what's disrespectful is that they didn't bring it here for me to snack on during the video. Well, we're gonna make some We have not made none yet. We have made one for our sample run. I tried uh, it yesterday. Yeah, but that didn't have the flavor call on. That's a secret. I can't be saying all that here. <laughs> They're popping their own stuff, you know. Secret uh, recipe. Yeah, but yeah, the the, the it's run until Friday. Uh, if you buy three or spend a minimum $35, you got to do it. Uh, it'll automatically do it in your cart at checkout when you put the code, the, uh, the code, right? The, um, yeah, it's uh, the coupon free bag, code, free, free bag. bag. And then it'll automatically deduct the uh, Billy's going to put all this in the comments. Yeah, we just got a, a question about So it's not mixed like the Chicago. The Chicago is two no, separate No, Chicago is made. cheese and caramel separately. Made and then just you know mixed in the back. So know. cheddar mail is cheddar mail is double flavor one corn. That's yeah, right. one corn and it's so good. Yeah, it's it's our and original. And I literally never had it because he doesn't bring it. We're gonna on. try it on. Well, we're gonna try it. I know they they had a new order come in just a while ago, and that's the free bag they picked. Uh, so yes, we thank has. you for them two two people that I I don't know their names from here. That old, that old. Johnny sense. and Bobby. They might not want you calling out anyways. <laughs> yeah, we thank y'all. You know, we thank y'all a lot. Uh, Pop a lot. The, I'm going to put the link. The, the motivation behind all of this is to 
to give an opportunity for people to have a bed to come to for free for a year and, and just encounter Christ and be set free from whatever chains they come in here with, you know, and um, whether it's drugs, alcohol, or just a sense of no hope, don't have a purpose in life. And, and that's why Miss Scarlett sits here and paints this. That's why I do what I do to to provide, you know, and, and that, that's the motivation behind all of it. You know, I just want to, we can't express that enough. That's that's the main thing that he saved my life, you know. And um, we just want to thank y'all. You know, thank you, Miss Garland, for painting that. Brother Cole was preaching again. He preached his past on him. Uh, he's preaching no, right now. No, he's yeah. keeping it good. He did great. Yeah, he explained well. it good because Absolutely. I talk about it all the time that I struggle with how to explain sometimes. Like, I'll be like, oh. Uh. <laughs> People are like, what are you doing? And I'm like, well, give me 10 minutes. <laughs> it's simple. We, I mean, you lost and you. You come to that realization in your life. We 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 got a place if you were willing to lay everything down and come and, and focus on nothing but you know trusting God. Yes, folks. See, like, that's something that I do. Folks, people people ask me what I do. You know, from back on whatever. Like it's a it's a complicated question. Is what I tell them. You know, because we ship stuff and all this stuff, but it's it's not. Yeah, when I'm like, I paint door hangers. To, you know what I mean? Like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I come right here and stole your seat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> disrespect has no man all right guys thanks for listening to us we still got a big facebook winner right hey, i already told him don't forget about the cheddar <laughs> mail we call it cheesy caramel it's a her name is elena cheddar hendrix mail. harris elena hendrix harris you're our winner for facebook email us at admin at bill cross.com you're gonna get some kettle corn probably and this unfinished 34 inches this is available on the website i'm about to post it on wholesale so that's all. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.